hi guys welcome to my channel it's been ages and um i'm glad to be back my name is alamidi i'm a travel entrepreneur um and for the past few months i've been traveling quite a bit i i always wanted to share here but for one reason or the other um i haven't <laughs> so um but i'm in kenya right now and i just want to share because um it's a little bit of something is better than nothing right so i just want to share a little bit of my experience here in kenya and um well maybe we'll take it from there <laughs> right um so as i said i'm a travel entrepreneur i travel quite a bit um and this time for this my stay in kenya i decided to go for a more unique stays um, as opposed to the um, regular hotels and luxury resorts that I usually book for people, I decided that for myself I wanted to do something a little, a little more unique and different, as it were. And so um, right now I'm in Nairobi. <laughs> I've been here for um, a couple of days, to be honest, and you know, a couple of weeks, really. Um, I'm leaving soon. I thought, okay, before I leave, let me say something. <laughs> here right so um this is my first time in kenya i had been in kenya uh about two years ago i spent only four days but in that four days i decided okay this is somewhere i want to come back to and explore properly so my first day in nairobi was a container home um i had never booked a container home before so i felt like that was really unique right um, so it was a container home located in a very very leafy suburb area um in nairobi called ronda what i really loved about this area was how deeply forested it was um i mean you could walk past you could walk by the house and not know that there was a house there just because of how forested it was and then we had this really long driveways um it was just really nice <laughs> it was really nice um the container home itself um it wasn't luxurious by the way but i felt like um the decor was in keeping with just the general ambience of the place and i loved that i loved how earthy it was i loved the colors they used um to decorate and to decorate the home really um and then, you know, there was this lovely terrace outside where I could just sit down early in the mornings and read a book or read my Bible or just listen to music. And then I had these two furry friends who fell in love with me and I fell in love with them. They fell in love with me because of my treats, of course. And I fell in love with them because of the attention. I'm not ashamed to say. Um, yeah, it was really nice. The kitchen the living room um the bedroom it was nice i loved it i highly recommend um that apartment so that was my first day in nairobi <laughs>
So my second stay was in Naivasha. Naivasha is in the countryside, um, in the countryside really. Um, and it's about one hour, 30 minutes by road from, from Nairobi. Um, Naivasha was very cold. I mean, for me, African <laughs> from Nigeria, I thought it was very cold compared to Nairobi and Nairobi was cool, you know, but um, I loved Naivasha. So Naivasha lies right within the Great, Great Rift Valley um, and the views, geez, I haven't seen anything that beautiful in a while. Unfortunately, I didn't get very good videos of those views, right, but it was beautiful. I stayed um, in a flower business park, right, so the the, the area is known for it's 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 you have so many flower gardens they actually export flower gardens from that park to other areas of from other countries to other countries like europe other continents like europe and other countries as well apart from europe pardon me um but yeah i, I thought naivasha was um really beautiful i also went for a walking safari where I was able to walk with animals. I thought that was a once in a lifetime experience and I highly recommend it. I walked with giraffes, with zebras, with um, water box, I think that's what they're called. So many, I mean, so because you don't have um, the big fives, right? So you had a lot of these animals just roaming around. So it was really, really, really nice. So I'll just show you what my apartment in Naivasha was like I loved it so much <laughs> I think that was one of the best um, places I've stayed in um, Airbnb style the views early in the morning the way the living room was designed the, the bed was the most comfortable bed <laughs> I have slept in in my life that bed was comfortable it was beautiful i always looked forward to sleeping um yeah and then just how you could just walk no no it was beautiful it was beautiful um yeah so that was nice so i so obviously you can tell that i love naivasha i highly recommend if you're, if you're in kenya and then let me f not forget the lake naivasha as well Lake Naivasha was also really nice. I visited um, the Sopa Lodge. Um, Sopa Lodge is um, also right within the Great Rift Valley. And then you also had animals roaming around in the resort. Um, you had giraffes. So you could just, <laughs> you could just, you could just see a giraffe um, outside your window. I mean, and you pay, you, you pay, a whole lot to have that same experience in somewhere like Nairobi so I love that it was just a dime a dozen in um, Naivasha I mean it was, it's not like it was that cheap but um, relative to what you pay in somewhere like Giraffe Mano in Nairobi I felt like it was really a good deal um, so yeah